When designing an e-learning course, verifying that information is safe and secured should be a top priority. Your learners need to feel protected within the e-learning environment that you've created for them. In that case, they are comfortable, safe, and secured. In this online setup, we need to double our efforts in creating an engaged learning environment to increase students' attention and focus, promote meaningful learning experiences, encourage higher levels of student performance, and motivate students to practice higher level critical thinking skills. So hi, this is Daisy May Galzote and these are the six tips to create a safe and secure e-learning environment. Number one is restrict the information using passwords. Just like your social media sites such as Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and such, your e-learning environment are also restricted areas which contains your sensitive or important information. For example, you have a section of your e-learning course that is only for those who have enrolled. Therefore, let's encourage making use of strong passwords so that the content and their discussions or projects will be kept private. This will also help to prevent your sensitive date and schedules from being stolen and distributed without your permission. Since only those who have been granted since only those who have been granted access within your class will be able to view the data, the likelihood that a random person will steal and disperse the information is only limited. Number two is e-learning data encryption. Data encryption is a security method where information is encoded and can only be accessed or decrypted by a user with the correct encryption key. Important data should be encrypted on all levels. You must ensure that data being sent or being accessed by a mobile device on a standby mode is properly encrypted. Taking all of these precautions gives you the opportunity to shore up your LMS so that you and your learners can rest assured that the information is safe and sound at all times. Number three is authenticate learners' data and limit login attempts to deter unauthorized persons. There have been many issues of internet bots that CAPTCHA was developed. This is to ensure that your e-learning environment or your learning course is being accessed only by you, the real learners. CAPTCHA means completely automated public Turing test to tell computers and humans apart. For those unfamiliar, CAPTCHA is a test that is made up of two simple parts, a randomly generated sequence of letters and or numbers that appear as a distorted image and a text box. So next time you become impatient, remember that these security processes are there to protect us from viruses and spammers. You can also put a cap on how many times someone may attempt to log in. By doing so, you can help to deter unauthorized persons Given that, they given that they only have a fewer chances to randomly find the correct password. Number four is update your LMS as regularly as possible. With tip number four, we encourage you to keep your subs updated with the latest versions of their security software and add-ons. Many learning number management five systems prevent have billions of measures by changing your you can delivery always ask format your or LMS method. Team or provider one of the major, if all security the measures major are in place, when using learning management some systems, even provide a step by step of uploaded files and content and will notify you to update. However, you always refer keep to in them mind to that some formats some helpful offer you on how to make your particular LMS even safer. To illustrate, Many learning management PDF systems have built and security to modify or duplicate. You can always ask you can your also LMS team or provider. You can also all opt security for measures digital are rights management or DRM. Some may even provide a step-by-step -step authentication process and will not you can also you to for you You should always refer to them to give you, you some helpful advice on how to make your particular DRM LMS on certain safer. deliverables. Many learning management Such systems as audio have built-in security measures. You may also use passwords to your LMS pages, team or provider such as uploading it to Kindle if all security such as measures protected are in place through digital rights management. Some even provide a step-by-step -step authentication access process in Google Drive which is to commonly update. used by university students for collaboration projects. You should always refer to them to give you some projects. helpful advice on how to 
Number five is prevent illegal use of content by changing your delivery format or method. One of the major one of the major concerns when using learning management systems is the security of uploaded files and content of professionals. However, keep in mind that some formats offer you content higher protection than others. To illustrate, a PDF document is quite difficult to modify or duplicate. You can also opt for Digital Rights Management or DRM on certain deliverables, such as on audio and book files. You may also use password protected pages such as uploading it to Kindle such as protected through digital right management. You may also use restricted access in Google Drives which is commonly used by university students for collaboration projects. Lastly is remove archive learners discussion and workings within a specified time frame. You may inform students of removing their uploaded published works in online discussions within a specified time frame to give them peace of mind. One of the options to consider is having them use usernames. By giving them anonymity, you are giving them the option to offer feedback, share input, and communicate with other online learners without using their name that may offer them the sense of security they need to actively participate. They are encouraged to join group discussions in LMS without showing their names. And that is basically it. I hope you learned and used the security tips for a safe learning environment. Whether you are dealing with basic and simple subject matters or highly sensitive information that should be kept confidential, these e-learning security tips and techniques can help you to create a safe e-learning environment for you and your learners.